I wanted to make a video on ECU tuning, explaining it in the way that I wish it was explained to me back when I was trying to figure this baloney out, an idiot's guide sort of thing, and luckily I speak fluid idiot, because I am one. So there's three main ways to tune your car, basically the first one being a standalone ECU. So what this does is completely replace the factory computer in your car, and it's the most extreme and involved form of tuning, but it also lets you do the most stuff. And if your car is really old and doesn't have a computer in the first place, a standalone is going to be your only option. A step down from that is called a piggyback ECU. Basically, these attach to your factory computer like a parasite and tell it to do stuff. And if you're keeping the factory engine in your car, just putting a turbo on it or whatever, this is probably the one you want to go with, if of course there's a company out there that makes one for your car. The last one is reflashing, which is basically when you attach a laptop to your OBD2 port and change the ROM on your factory computer. Some cars it's pretty easy, some cars it's not. There's a high chance you're gonna break the computer if you mess up, so you're gonna have to go down that rabbit hole on your own if that's something you're interested in. I'm gonna be focusing on standalones because I think they're the most interesting. Now, first of all, you're gonna have to set aside some time. Maybe a year or five, especially if it's your first time doing this. And of course, blah blah, not technically road legal, blah blah, off-road use only, blah blah, the EPA can lick my sonic tater tots. So to install a standalone ECU, you're gonna need a lot of wires. I recommend just going on eBay and buying a spool of 14 gauge multicolor wire. Most of the recommended wire sizes are gonna be smaller than 14 gauge, but the general rule is you can use a bigger wire than what's recommended, just not a smaller one. And of course, you're gonna have to attach a bunch of these wires together. Some people like soldering, some people People like crimping. I like soldering personally, but crimping works too. And you're also going to want to make sure your harness is completely fused because, you know, fire. For my Sundance, I just went to the junkyard and got a random fuse and relay box from a 2011 Dodge Charger. They gave it to me for free, so it's not like it costs anything. As far as sensors go, you really only need four to make an engine run pretty decent. Those being a crank position sensor, a map sensor, coolant temperature sensor, and a wideband O2 sensor. Yes, it's nice to have more stuff like a throttle position sensor, an intake air temperature sensor, cam sensor, oil and fuel pressure sensors, but you don't have to have that extra stuff. You should still probably hook up a throttle position sensor though, because a lot of features require one. I'm going to quickly say what the sensors and stuff do, because this video could easily go all day. So the crankshaft position sensor basically just tells the computer how fast the engine is spinning. And basically all you got to do is weld or bolt on a 36 to 1 trigger wheel to the end of your crank pulley, put the sensor near it, and then it works. The map sensor just uses a hose coming from your intake manifold to tell how much pressure is inside it. That way the computer knows how much fuel to inject. Coolant temperature sensor is pretty self-explanatory, just, you know tells the coolant temperature. Lastly, the wideband O2 sensor is basically just a tuning aid. It tells you the air-fuel ratio. Trying to tune without one of these is like doing brain surgery blindfolded. Now, there's a lot of standalone ECUs out there. I like Mega Squirt just because it's cheap and that's what I'm used to, but you pick your favorite. So now you know what everything does, but this video only covered exactly 2% of what actually goes into installing a standalone. So if this is something you actually want to do, you're going to have to read the install manual. And it's a lot of reading. Have fun. Subscribe. Oh.